Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with episode number 6 of the Pac-Man Pac-Only Road to Glory series. Now as you can see on screen we have carried out the uh, the plan that we implemented in the previous episode by bringing across some extra coins to open a couple more packs to make us a little bit more competitive as uh, we head into the next few games. Of course, we did miss out on a manager tasks pack. It glitched out, didn't give us it, so I'm um, brought across 5,000 coins worth to uh, to open that pack to kind of give us the pack that we should have had anyway, and then an extra 7.5k rather than the, uh, the 10 10k that I was planning on bringing across just to open one uh, premium gold pack to hopefully pull a goalkeeper which is what we need right now we only have bronze goalkeepers the player that flashes up is Inigo Martinez from uh, Real Sociedad but praise be to the pack gods we have pulled a gold goalkeeper at fucking last so hopefully that will be the end to our six goal a game conceding uh, run but uh, fingers crossed we can put together a decent squad now and actually be competitive when it comes to uh, to playing online now of course I, uh, I said like I said I've got to open a seven and a half grand pack as well so hoping to maybe pull a right back I actually don't have right back at all of any uh, class grade so uh, fingers crossed we can pull a right back in this one but <laughs> it's really really stupid but in fact we're actually going to pull as the spinny globe goes round Another goalkeeper! It's Willy Caballero from Malaga and another goalkeeper as well from Inter Milan. Uh, Cabrizzo is it? Carrizo. I was trying to read that sideways. But uh, three goalkeepers in two backs after we get none in the previous, what, ten? So we're uh, buzzing. So we're actually a little bit stronger than we were before. But this is the... Uh, quote unquote second string side that I've been able to put together with the players that we've got so far uh, mainly pre Premier League based although there is a couple of extra players in there for chemistry reasons of course Sequeira and Dede two Brazilians and then the uh I think it's Albrechtson, I think is his name, the uh, the Danish centre-back that's playing at right-back, because of course we don't have any right-backs to uh, to cover for uh, for chemistry with uh, with Daniel Agger there. But this is the best side that I can put together so far. We've got 90 chem, uh, it's mainly made up of, uh, of Serie A players, although there's a, a La Liga court, uh, trio up top with Lea Baptista, Ruben Castro and Xabi Prieto. Of course, uh, there's two La Liga, not La Liga, um, Liga Earn players on the left-hand side as well. Dinier at left-back and Verratti, the CDM from PSA. Fortunately, he's Italian as well, so links up well with Aquilani and Gambarini. But we're going to jump into a game against uh, Henry is God, the name of the squad. And it's a decent Argentinian side with, of course, a Rui Costa, a Rui Patricio rather, in goal. And uh, a nice inform there. Is that Montiel? I'm not entirely too sure. But uh, I actually was actually, at this moment in time, I got a, a tweet that just said, Hey, buddy! And I was a little bit confused at first, but it actually turns out that the guy we're playing is a, is a fellow YouTuber and a friend called uh, Kieran. Plays uh, his channel name is Scouting for FIFA. So I will actually leave a link below in the description to uh, to his channel if you want to go and check him out. It's really weird that uh, we were actually drawn together because I was playing this game at like one o'clock in the morning. Really didn't expect to get anyone from the UK really, considering it normally pairs me with people in South America or at least it used to on 360. So uh, I honestly don't know why it did that. Or, or, always on uh, on Xbox 360 when I was playing Ultimate Team. I'd get linked or paired with people in Brazil, Bolivia, Argentina, Mexico, Chile. It was ridiculous. But anyway, back to the gameplay. We're actually able to, uh, to get back on level terms after Paracel scored an absolute screamer for uh, for him. Uh, really, really fortunate to get the deflection on the shot from Verratti. Made it come back off the bar. And then fortunately, Aquilani was there to slide in, put the ball into the back of the net. But we, are, we weren't going to be able to hold that lead until half time. Palacio was going to score another screamer. And I was really annoyed with Gambarini there. I was sprinting back with him, read the, uh, the lob through ball. But as the ball was played he just slowed down to a jog and then sped up again and Gambarini has been absolutely full of mistakes for the entire time that he's been on the pitch for me so I'm really contemplating maybe lowering chemistry a little bit and putting a different centre back in there in this squad but as you can see uh, he actually only registered one shot on target apparently but has two goals so we're 2-1 down heading into the second half and it was actually nearer to uh, nearer to full time before we were actually able to get back on level terms Another really, really fortunate goal for us. I have to apologise to Kieran for uh, for getting back or oh, scoring both goals. In fact, through uh, such fortunate circumstances, the uh, the rebound off the post he's put in to uh, to bring it back to two two. And it was Aquilani having the first shot, and then uh, following up was uh, I'm not entirely too sure who that was actually. It doesn't flash up with the player name anymore, does it? When they score, we have to wait until the end of all the replays, which is just ridiculous. But uh, but anyway, we're back on level terms. It may even have been Xavi Prieto that scored that goal. I can't entirely remember, but. We're going into extra time. This was a single play match, although I am hoping to, uh, in the next episode, start going back into the league because, of course, the uh, the bonuses you get for ending the seasons will help when it comes to uh, affording new packs and new players, etc. 
to get new players from packs etc because this is a pack only road to glory but I tried a couple of uh, different tactics from the corner here laying it off to Ruben Castro at the edge of the box giving it a whack but unfortunately it is blocked but then the goalkeeper makes another good save from Verratti to keep us at bay but we were going to get another chance just 10 minutes or so before the end of extra time Leo Baptistao is going to play a nice one too with Hetemar he's going to give it an absolute whack and what a goal that is absolute screamer in the 112th minute to win us the game that is in fact going to win us this game against uh, scouting for FIFA so I do apologise to him again for uh, I apologise on Twitter as well for scoring such scrappy awful goals to uh, to take it to extra time in the first place but that is an absolute winner I love that goal I watched all three replays just so you guys could fully appreciate how good that goal is the way he struck it was Gorgeous. Flying right up into that top left hand corner. Who almost couldn't have got further into that postage stamp at the top left. I was so, so happy to be able to take the win from this one. And of course, the larger coin bonus from that as well. But rather than having the uh, the generic end slate at the end of the video here, I'm actually going to show you all the players that we currently have in the squad. Because of course, you guys are so much better than me when it comes to uh, to building squads, etc. So if any of you, have, I've actually had recently a couple of you either tweet me at Chesnoy Gaming with... Uh, with some squads, some foothead links, or leave foothead links in the description below. So if you guys can uh, can perhaps come up with a squad that's better than mine using some of the players that we've got at our disposal, then feel free, feel very free to leave me links to foothead uh, squads either in the comment section down below or, of course, like I say, on Twitter at Chesnoy Gaming. But that is going to bring this episode to a close. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if it could be so kind. That'd be absolutely superb. If you aren't subscribed to the channel already, there will be a link to do so in the description and an annotation on screen in the top right hand corner of your screen and if you missed the previous episode in this series then there is a link to that in the bottom left hand corner of your screen but so that is going to bring this one to a close again kieran's uh, channel link will be in the description as well but that's going to bring this to a close thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you next time